There are also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This, too, is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. It's not true. And one more misunderstanding I want to clear up. Under our plan, no federal dollars will be used to fund abortions, and federal conscience laws will remain in place. That was one of the ugliest moments I think uh, we've seen in politics in a long, long time, if ever. Republican Joe Wilson of South Carolina calling the president a liar on national television. He did put out a statement tonight saying he apologized. He also called Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel and apologized. But I have to think that that's in his heart. It was an honest reaction. All of these congressional members had a copy of this president's speech tonight. They were ready for that. Maxine Waters joins us tonight. Congresswoman, thanks for your time. Delighted to be here. Are you satisfied? Did the president do what you wanted him to do? Did he go far enough? President president hit a home run. Uh, he was forceful. Uh, he was uh, Barack Obama, the educator. Uh, he laid out the facts. He talked directly to the senior citizens and to try and help allay their fears about the lies that had been told to them about death panels. He confronted it head on. And um, he laid out what it was and what the bill is and what it is not. Uh, he did a great job, and he talked about this this business about government takeover. He dealt with that, and he dealt with the cost, and uh, let people know that it would not be deficit spending. He did a complete and thorough and forceful job. He covered all bases. He covered all bases. It seemed to me, uh, Congresswoman Waters, that... He set the table for a public option to be passed in the House. I think so. I, I mean, what do you think the blue dog response to this is going to be? You know, I don't know, but uh, he made a special appeal uh, to them as he talked to the progressives also. And I think they're going to have a hard time uh, just ignoring the president. Uh, they don't have a good reason for not wanting competition. Why would they not want competition? What is wrong with competition? Competition. Special interest, uh, they got a wake up call tonight. Yes, I the think special so. I mean, th now it's really, it's either going to go one way or the other. Yeah. It's not going to stay the same. Yeah. It's either going to get nastier and a lot tougher, or the president's going to get some things that he wants and he's going to get some people working with him. Which way do you think it's going to go? I don't know, but the fact that he showed that he's willing to get tough, yes. I think may back some people down. I think some people were taking him for granted. Might motivate some folks, too. I think so. So uh, I think we're going to get it. Okay. Where do you think the progressive movement is going to be? I mean, you're, you know, yes. a progressive caucus. Yes. Would you go back to your constituents and say, we're not going to get everything? But we're going to get a lot, and, and, and he went far enough tonight. Would that be your message? What I'm going to go back and say is the president made a commitment to public option. He said, I'm going to stand up for public option. He said, I'm also going to leave the door open. Uh, I will entertain others who want to come talk to me, who may have good ideas. And so what he did was he said, my preference is this is what I'd like to do. But he also said, I'm not closing off any ideas. I want to hear them. I don't think there's anything better than public option. When you talk about trigger, uh, that's just about played itself out. Sure, sure. When you talk about co-ops, that's nobody can tell you what a co-op is. They can't adequately describe what it, it would do. You're going to have to go public option yes. now because if, if you're going to force uh, have a bill that says pre-existing conditions. That's right. There's not an insurance company on the face of the earth that's going to go along with that. That's right. I, am I overplaying that? I mean, what? I, I'm waiting for the press release from the insurance companies to say, hey, we love this bit about pre-existing conditions being gone. We can't wait to get into that market. It isn't going to happen. It's not going to happen. And if we don't have cost containment, they're going to charge. The premiums are going to go up. They're going to say, oh, these pre-existing conditions, we have to pay a lot more money to cover all yeah. these sick people with cancer and all of these diseases. So 
I mean, if we don't have public option to keep the cost down, people can forget it. They won't be able to afford it. Well, let's see. Let's just a reminder now. The Republicans were against the stimulus package. Yes. They didn't want to help the bailout. Yes. They fought the Wall Street thing. Yes. They've been against everything this president's wanted to do. They're not going to support the health care reform either. Yeah. Even when the market went to 10000 that wasn't good enough for them. No. They're, they're obstructionists. Yes. You expect them to be that way throughout. Absolutely. I don't expect them to come around at all, Ed. Okay. So tonight was solidifying the base and yes. moving forward. That's right. Congresswoman, thanks for your time. You're so welcome. Thank you. Maxine Waters with us here on the special edition of The Ed Show.